Hi guys, today we are going to learn about Google Display Ads and where this Display Ads appear means it appears on websites, apps, YouTube and Gmail as well and websites and apps need to be partnered with Google to show ads and to partner they need to link their websites to Google AdSense then only they can show the ads and how does this works means for suppose all the accounts linked to AdSense are known as Google Display Network and there are more, more than 2 million plus websites, apps and videos that have been partnered with Google to show ads and how and where does these ads appear on website means for suppose if I go to bbc.com you can see on a top there is a banner ad and if you scroll down you can see an ad here as well and if I go to Times of India you can see two ads on top right side and left side and if I scroll down and here also you can see an ad and here also you can see an ad from Decathlon like this the websites can show ads if they are partnered with Google AdSense okay now let's go and actually create a display ad click on new campaign and again select create a campaign without goal and guidance why because if we select any of this we have less control on that campaign and if I go ahead with the with this option we get more control on our campaign and let's select display and now click on continue and now click on continue now we have campaign settings and in campaign settings we have different targeting options first we have location you can select location from here and I have explained all this in a search ad. If you want to know more about this, you can go ahead and watch that video. Okay. And I have explained all about location languages and everything here. What are there? And in display ads extra, we have devices, dynamic ads and content exclusion. So, so we'll explain about this and device we have. If you select show all devices, it will shows for all devices. And if you want to set specific devices then go ahead and select this option and it asks for computer mobiles tablets and even you can set an operating system windows ios for mobile for mobiles in device models we have android ios and microsoft and others you can select particular model from here okay we have networks we have wi-fi and in india we have what are the networks it shows atl geo or something every network we have so we can select anything from here and next we have dynamic ads this helps when you have an e-commerce store you have to link your merchandise center with google ads then you can create a feed based upon the people visited on your website so that feed you can input here and it shows ads to them dynamically it retargets and shows and shows same product which they have visited and next we have content exclusion that means you can check these boxes and the Google will will not show ads on these type of content websites so, and Google will try to restrict to show on these kind of websites okay and you can select which is not relevant for you and we have more settings as well here I have explained each about them in such ad you can go ahead and watch video for better understanding and next click on next now campaign settings has been completed now we have budget and bidding in budget and bidding you have to set the budget how much you are willing to spend daily and then we have bidding here like for suppose what is this main purpose of this campaign and what what will be the goal for this campaign you wanna get more conversions leads or you wanna get more clicks or is it for branding purpose something like that you can select bidding from here and we have different values here and viewable impressions means for suppose it helps for branding more and what does the viewable impression means for suppose the ad should be 50 percent in the viewport on which is viewing uh which can see is known as viewport so that should be 50 percent for consecutive one second for suppose here we have an ad it should be at least 50 percent of on the viewport for one second then only it considered as a viewable impression and if bottom of this page that the many ads have been rendered so they may be counted as impressions but viewable impressions means that which comes in the viewport for one second 
at least for 50 percent then it considers viewable impression okay and that is that is known as viewable impression and next we have convergence conversion value and how do you want to get conversions automatically maximize conversions it's an uh, automated bidding so google will try to get maximum conversions and next we have maximum set bits and if you want to give any cpc enhanced cpc you can give it here for suppose what does the enhanced cpc means you have kept your cpc for 10 enhanced cpc for 10 then google will automatically increase or decrease the bit based upon the conversions happening there for suppose if one user is most likely to convert then google will automatically shows to them the conversion value may go up this enhanced cpc may go up like 12 13 something like that it may be increase or decreasing okay it's not it's not every time increasing sometimes it goes to 12 or sometimes it goes to 8 rupees 7 rupees or something like that or else you can set automatically maximize conversions google will take care of everything and if you wanna give any targeted cpf for these conversions you can give and it and it takes for only interactions uh, to choose conversion model here we need to get at least 100 conversions in 30 days then only we can choose the option conversions and interaction means something who has interacted with your ad or else there are there we have different bit strategies as well and you can go ahead and select from here here we have targeted CPA, targeted ROAS, maximize clicks, maximize conversion, conversion value and viewable CPM. And I have discussed more about these bit strategies. I have made a dedicated video and you can go ahead and watch that. Okay. In our case, let's go to the previous one and let's use it as a uh, conversion and let, let it be the same automatically. And next we have targeting. And this is very most important for display ads. For suppose, first it's showing optimized targeting is set up for you. That means whatever the targeting you may set here, the Google will not restrict to the targeting locations only. It may even show out of the targeting location only where Google thinks that he may be your customer or he may be your user or he may be more likely to convert something like that. Okay. And here we have two types of targeting. One is people based and one is content based. You can target the people, those who are interested in related stuff, like for suppose example, news, those who are interested in news and you can target based upon the content like news websites or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and see all the options here. And first we have our audience segment. Now you can see here targeting people based and content based. So let's discuss one by one. First audience segments. Here we have different types of segments. You can select from here or you, even you can search from here and you can select those and you can show ads to those kind of related websites and those kind of people those who are interested in these kind of segments. In browse we have different options so let's go one by one. First one we have detailed demographics. Here we have parental status, marital status, education, home ownership, home owner, renters, something like that. And next we have affinity and in market and life events as well. For suppose what does this means? Let's check an example of cricket. For suppose you are consuming in the content related to cricket. You are watching cricket matches and searching score for cricket related stuff or something like you are consuming the content. Then you comes under the category of affinity that is in your interest and habits. And what does the in, in market means? People are actively looking stuff like um, cricket, cricket related stuff like bats, kit, cricket related products or something like that. And they are actively looking and planning to buy and researching that comes to in-market. Okay. And let's discuss what are there in affinity and in-market. In affinity, same we have different kinds of segments, banking, finance, beauty, food and drinking. And you can even drop down and narrow down narrow down their targeting here as well those who are related in coffee shops regularly coffee enthusiast fast food cravers something like that there are many options you can go ahead and see what are the options available here and you can select which helps for your business and next we have in market and same options we have in market but i have sh shown the difference what is different uh, difference between affinity and in market and you can you can play here and there and you can select which helps for your business 
and next we have and in market and in in market next we have life events that means the events that happen in our life for suppose creating a business job change marriage moving purchasing a home retirement or something like that that events that happen in our life comes under life events you can even target from here as well and this is about in market and uh, sorry. and this is about affinity and in market and next we have your data segments okay for this you need to create a data segments in your audience manager then only you can see uh, and data segments here for i have created an uh, data segments all website visitors what does this helps means you can do remarketing from here you can select particular pages or all your website visitors and you can select this as a targeting option and it will shows only ads to these people and next we have custom combinations you can create different data segments and you can combine them and you can target from here it's pretty straightforward all this you can do in your audience manager and and next we have custom audience segments this means this also we can create in audience manager but i will show briefly how you can create this here click on this custom segment and seg name the segment here and you see people with any of this interest or purchase intention for suppose i can say digital marketing course can say digital marketing course so from here you can select the keywords that works for you and you can add it here like this and that's it first for one and next we have people who searched on this kind of keywords on google it may be google on google search or something related to google unrelated product something like that and even it shows how many will be the impressions on what is their and what is their gender age parental status and even topics as well okay and next we have people who browse these kinds of websites you can just simply copy paste the website urls here and you can target to these kind of people and next we have people who visit these kind of apps you can directly search apps from here and it will shows apps that are in play store you can select and you can target them as well okay this is how you can create segments and this is about custom segments and in people targeting next we have demographics it's pretty straightforward we have gender age parental status household income if you want to exclude or include you can just check and uncheck these boxes that's it and next we come to content based targeting here you can give keywords and even you can place your website url here it will copy keywords from your website and shows here or else you can give that suitable name which works for you then it will show some keyword ideas and this is about keywords and next we have topics here we have different kinds of topics segregated among the different categories so you can drop down this and you can elaborate here you can get more detailed topics and you can narrow down how much you want to narrow down the targeting so you can get every topic from here and based upon the topic also you can target and the last one we have placement it's pretty straightforward you can copy and paste the website urls here for suppose if i copy for this bbc.com and i paste it here it shows how many websites are related to this kind of content and how many apps are there and how many youtube channels something like that it gives an approximate value and you can target only these kind of apps and websites and you can see here it shows related to this content and you can drop down you can select only related to this content and even apps and youtube channels as well and if you want to ent enter multiple placements you can go ahead and paste multiple urls here this is known as 
placement based targeting and this is the optimized targeting we have discussed at starting only and click on next now we are here where we can create actual our ad now here we have to create our ad we have and now we have responsive display ad it's showing here and if you want to change to standard you can go ahead and change it to standard upload displays and if you want to change again to response what is the help of responsive means google will automatically combine different segments of your uh, ads images headlines descriptions and everything and shows to the user and it picks which works best and it shows again and again the same ad okay and to do and to create this responsive first i'm just copy copying this url pasting it here and i have given the business name there and we have to choose images up to 15 images and we have different types of sizes in displays according to iab standard so you can select based upon those sizes okay you can see the sizes here 15 images you have need to select or else if you go to google help center article you can see what are the sizes we have for display ads and you can select among these and we have to add up to 15 images here so i'm going ahead and adding it here here we have different options we can create an asset library actually these are the images which we have uploaded previously and next if you give an a website url it automatically scans from there and even it scan, scans from your social media links as well and if you need to upload you can upload it from here and you need any free stock images you can get from here so it's suggesting i i will go ahead and select few of these images here and click on save and next we have logos we need to add at, at least up to five logos here we have only one in the same way you can go to your website and you can pick pick it from there as well or else you can upload it okay i have selected two for our case and if you need to add any video you can add it directly check on the video click on the video and you can add it from your youtube search from youtube uh, directly paste the url here it shows here and asset library means whichever images you have uploaded here it shows in asset library and we have to choose headlines here i'm just select going with this one and you need to we need to think more about this and create different kinds of headlines we have to do more research about this because this is what people see our, on our ad okay and next we have more options in more options we have call to action and custom colors you can add call to action directly from here if you click on automated it will shows any of these and picks any of this and shows mm -hmm. I'm just selecting learn more and we have color options. You can select some custom colors here and it shows based upon that. And now we can see in a preview. How does our ads appear on websites and apps? So these are the different ad slots available on websites and shows based upon the availability of ad slots. Okay. And this is how does this appears. You can check the preview of each ad. And next we have YouTube and Gmail. How does these ads appear on YouTube? For suppose you can see this, how our ad appears on YouTube. And here. And this is in a Gmail. In promotions tab, you can see ads in Gmail and even social tab as well. This is how in promotions you can see an ad in Gmail okay and this is how we create an display ad actually and display ads are very helpful for remarketing purpose brand awareness purpose now click on next and now click on publish and that's it our ad has been published so it takes some time to review and then our ad start delivering impressions and that's about the Google Display Ads guys, thank you so much.